for analysis we missed our programmation in uh, by i guess i was too depressed to <laughs> do this and you were too depressed to watch this so <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so let's get started with today's uh, interesting week lined up interesting setup like uh, this is going to be uh, yeah the next few days might just i mean i'm seeing a lot of things which i've never seen before so let's get started with it right first up nifty so last week on our way out we had said that i'm not sure if this is the level to buy probably there is a good level to buy which is around 19600 ish when there is a uh, 50 dma 100 dma etc converging and the lower half of this channel at this level with a decent stop loss you can enter and play for maybe 2600 i don't know right but this is definitely out of this downward trending channel and into the upward trending channel the only question is where is the good entry i i didn't think uh, the level um, where we were on uh, two trading sessions back was a great level to buy so maybe 19600 might be a very good uh, uh, entry right similarly if you look at bank nifty again bank nifty is uh, playing around the uh, support level of the 200 dma now let's overlay our open interest uh, which is uh, yeah launched on sensible soon to be launched on all the <laughs> never mind <laughs> so um uh, so here's the um so 19800 as you can see here is the critical resistance right so let me just um, write this down nifty still in the upward trending channel bank nifty still above 200 dma uh, daily candles are in decision dojis There's nothing surprising there uh, Nifty is an indecision doji. Bank Nifty is also indecision doji. Nifty, Bank Nifty, <coughs> both forming indecision candles on daily time frame. Now let's look at open interest, right? So of course you saw the open interest overlay here. Ninety-eight hundred is a towering resistance. And uh, this is the way in which it is towering properly in the vertical <laughs> direction. You can see that 9700 plus had a lot of call writing. 9800 is going to be a big resistance. Uh, the resistance to watch. PCR 0.7 neutral. And let's look at open interest data. This is where everything becomes super interesting. FS. So see here's the thing. For the first time in my life, Shadi, but for the first time maybe my life also, right? Because I after started sensible only have I seen this graph. So uh, first time I'm seeing a negative open interest by uh, FIS. I'm going to ask my team to check if we are missing something here. I'll just drag my. Oh, sorry, I'm going to drag myself. I let me just hide my.
ayyo sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry so what i do is i I'll, i'll edit this thing i'll edit this thing my mistake i think the audio is back i'll repeat this this video will uh, edit and upload uh, we will we'll correct it so i'm going to go back and repeat from the point where we started uh, analysis of uh, uh, open interest right sorry so sorry so as you can see fi call over is negative for the first time in a really long time to the point that i suspect this could be a bug but it's not a bug because it was already low on friday um, call over is uh, negative put over is negative they sold more uh, puts 90k put sell 75k put uh, sorry 95k 90k call sell 75k put sell net net negative futures index over hardly any activity stocks index uh, stock oi is uh, minus 650 cr now net net if you look at it uh, fii for the first time has given a negative call oi fii sold more calls than they sold put which is net bearish fii futures data almost no activity but it's negative in futures uh, oi overall uh, fii stock data 650 crore sell which is bearish so the verdict is 19800 pe we know there is a resistance mostly because of the open interest and all that um, it is hard to break in this expiry maybe we might get a small dip to 19600 but there is support i am suspecting a 600 800 range and uh, one trade to do is 19600 ka put we can sell 19800 call we can sell or sell both and make it a straddle or an iron condor also works right 19800 and 19600 being the sell strikes so really sorry about uh, uh, the uh, audio which was lost during the time we now it is back right the audio is back i guess uh, so what i'll do is i'll edit this video uh, to cut out the part where we lost the audio and uh, you know we'll reupload everything again but net net it looks like we are going to be range bound in this expiry between 19600 and 19800 if you ask me to pick which one is more likely to hold 9600 is likely to hold 9800 might break because the trend the stronger longer bigger trend is up right because we are back in the channel so we are above 50 dma above 100 dma above 200 dma back into the channel uh, so selling 9800 can be tricky because um, the only thing which is protecting is an oi and fi data but 9600 i see multiple things supporting it here so the chart says 600 will prevail the open interest and fi data is hinting towards 800 might hold right so chart is favoring the support uh, open interest and fi data is favoring the resistance i'd say hmm tight range but uh, maybe it's a good idea to uh, short this if it dips get out of the 800 call and then keep the 600 once uh, we are back right so yeah basically it is likely to be range bound but if 19800 uh, <clears throat> So yeah this is that so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow <coughs> um uh hopefully we will, so basically uh, just to reiterate see this 19800 short is a good idea only because of the oi and the fi thing so between the two like my ideal trade is to um buy at 19600 right but is the safer trade
put two calls can be tricky the channel holds so this is a very tricky trade this 800 call shot you'll have to short it if it go back close to 19600 get out at 19600 uh, because there can be a bounce there um whereas 19600 pay buy is easier because wait for 19600 to come if it comes buy it and then hold it forever right so it's an easier trade to do trading wise even to get in get out everything 800 call is a very short time trade you short it if it dips get out and then 9600 pay try the long right so little tricky you have to be careful about this 800 in out very uh very very careful about that uh, 800 in out right uh, so yeah that is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual oh yeah bank nifty bank nifty bank nifty views here the same thing right this is about 200 dma and there is a lot of support here and there's a doji getting formed and bank nifty oi not that it means anything but we can just check bank nifty oi I don't know why I did that. I could have just clicked this. Yeah. Yeah. Bank Nifty UI, it's never really favoring anything. It's like there are there are some there's some support here, but yeah, that's about it, right? So yeah, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this. And as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.